Good morning, welcome to Choose Life. I am Pastor Gina Coleman. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and be a part of the Choose Life family. I'm just gonna go ahead and pray so that we can get right into the message. Lord Jesus, we bless your name this morning. We come to you with thanksgiving in our heart. We are grateful that you are our Lord. We are grateful for what you did at the cross of Calvary. Father, we thank you so much for your soul love, how you so loved us that you gave your only begotten son unto us. And God, the only thing that you required us to do was to believe God. And so we thank you, Father God, that even in the name of Jesus, before we were um, coming to you, you were prepping our hearts to believe, Father God. So we thank you and we praise you and we glorify you this morning. We lift you up. We call you holy. We call you righteous and excellent. We call you marvelous. We thank you that you are our father. We thank you that you're the glory and the lift of our heads. And God, we thank you that you're working all things out for our good. So God, we just give this video and this time and this message and even ourselves into your hands this morning that you will receive all glory and all honor from our lives every day, God, that we live. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the message. If you have noticed in the, I don't know, spring, summer, sometimes the pollen be wearing me out so much it's kind of difficult for me to catch my breath. But pray for me, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the message. The message today says, hand me the reins. You know, the reins that be on the horse. God is saying, hand me the reins. I want to help you. I am your helper, but sometimes you won't take your hands off with what you're dealing with. I can't get involved at the level I want to until you take your hands off and give the situation to Jesus. As long as you are striving in the flesh to fix something, get something, or get rid of something, you are not allowing my grace to work in your life the way that I intended to. I'm going to show you some areas of your life in which I want you to hand me the reins. Hmm. If you'll give them to me, I will take the lead and show you the steps to take to work things out. I am waiting for you to get to the end of yourself so I can show myself strong in your life. Now, when I read this this morning, I felt the conviction or the impression of the Holy Spirit in my spirit. There is some things that the Holy Spirit wants me to let go of. And not just me, but every person that views this video, he wants us to let go of some things. I know like um, a few months ago, the Lord, maybe even last year, the Lord said to me um, that he wanted to give me something, but I keep getting in the way, so he can't give it to me until I move out of his way. So that's why this um, message is, you know, really, really for me because the Lord wants me to let go of the reins. The reins are the thing that you have on the horse and you, you know, tell the horse which way to go. And we have the reins and so we're driving our life in the way that we want it to go or the way that we think it should go. So the Holy Spirit cannot take the reins because they he, we already have them i mean no one can just jump on a horse and start taking the reins from the person that's already on the horse and we know that the holy spirit is a gentleman and he would never just aggressively um you know overtake us so that he can be the leader of our lives so as he said he cannot do anything we stop him from giving us something, um, changing some things because we have the reins. Oh my Lord, I feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. So he wants us to let go and really let him be in control of our lives because we know that we're, when we have the reins, it's nothing but trouble. <laughs> we think, okay, I'm gonna take care of this. I know I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna say this but it, it always leads us to trouble. So he's saying unto us this morning, let go and let me have the reins. Because as long as you and I have the reins, he cannot be the leader. And the Lord sent him here to help us. He sent him here to lead us and to guide us into all truth. And we're not allowing him to be Lord. 
We're not allowing him to be the helper, the helper that knows everything. There is nothing more exciting than to need help from someone and they come along beside you and they come along and they take care of what your need is. They have everything that you need. In places that you were struggling, trying to figure out how to fix something, trying to figure out how to get someplace. And then you just mention it to someone, I'm talking to the natural, you mention it to someone and they say, oh, I know that. I know how to do this, I know how to do that. Let me do it for you. And so that's what the Holy Spirit is saying unto us. Let go and let him do it for us. Let him show us which way we should go. Jesus, I thank you, Father God. So today I encourage you to let go, to, to surrender your hands up to the Lord, to surrender and just let the rains drop. The Holy Spirit will take care of you and I. Whew, this is a bit much this morning. Well, it's really not um, because the Lord loves me and he loves you and he just wants us to allow him to be who he is, which is Lord and helper. Amen. All right. He said, if you, he said, I will take the lead and show you the steps to work things out. He said, I am waiting for you to get to the end of yourself. He is waiting for us to get to end to the end of ourselves he's waiting for us to say okay I quit I can't do it and as long as we hold the reins we're just gonna go around and around and around be frustrated sad depressed confused because the helper that Jesus sent knows the way that we should go but we're holding the reins and he can't touch them. He can't do anything about them until we let him go. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that we're letting go today. I pray that the viewers would feel your presence and let go today and let you lead us in the name of Jesus. Let you take the lead. Let you take the reins for you know the way that we should take you know how to move us around certain things so i ask you lord to help us now to let go in the name of the lord jesus christ so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to read the first scripture and the first scripture is john 14 26 and it says but the advocate the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. I like that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to help us, but we don't always allow the Holy Spirit, the defender, the supporter to always help us. I think sometimes we use the Holy Spirit as in the case of an emergency, like if times are difficult we invite the holy spirit into our problem but he doesn't want to just show up for our problem he wants to help us even before it becomes a problem he wants to help us in the midst of the problem and he wants to show us how to get other out of the problem so sometimes we just hold on to the reins and it becomes a big mess and then we want his help whereas God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, they're so proactive. That is why, hallelujah, we have the plan of salvation because they're proactive. They, they want to cut some things off before something else happens. So the Holy Spirit wants to be proactive in our life. We don't, he doesn't want to be reactive and have to come and get us out of some things. He wants to be proactive, but the way that we could be allow him rather to be proactive is let him have the reins let him take us in some valleys but he's going to show us how to get out of the valleys amen let him be with us no matter where we go and let him be the voice that we listen to he said that jesus uh the word says that jesus sent the holy spirit to help us i don't know anybody on this earth that doesn't want to help with something and the Holy Spirit has been sent to help us with our lives on how to be godly, how to live righteously, how to have 
godly character, um, how to avoid some pitfalls, but we don't allow him to lead. So today we must allow him to lead. Thank you, Jesus. So the next scripture is Psalms 38, 15. Thank you, Lord God. Psalms 38, 15. And it reads, Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord, my God. Lord, I will wait for you. You will answer. And I do believe that that is the confidence that the Lord wants you and I to have. And the reason why we go ahead and do some things on our own because we're not so sure that God is going to answer. But this scripture here just says in Psalms 38, 15, that we wait and we wait in assurance that God will answer. That's the position of our hearts when we are in a difficult place or don't understand what's going on. The position of our hearts is to know that we wait for the Lord and he will answer. God is convicting me. <laughs> I was saying this is what's happening right now. He's convicted me for me to wait on him and to know with assurance that he will answer because if he doesn't answer, it can't be done. It cannot be done. If God doesn't answer, it cannot be done. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the final scripture. And the final scripture is Second Chronicles 16, 9. Second Chronicles 16, 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose heart are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing and from now on, for the eyes of the Lord, is it Second Chronicles 16, 9? Second Chronicles 16, 9. This is um, Asa's last years on the earth. And this is what the Lord said to Asa. He said, Asa, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing and from now on you will be at war. So this is what the Lord was speaking to Asa. He's, he's encouraging him first and telling him that the eyes of the Lord <clears throat> range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed. When we're, you're fully committed to somebody, you trust them. When you're fully committed to somebody, you're willing to follow their leading. But then he tells Asa, but because basically because you did not wait, this is what your outcome is. It says, um, you have done a foolish thing and from now on you will be at war. And so because when we don't listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit, there's battles, unnecessary battles that we um, open up for ourselves. Because the enemy knows that we are supposed to be obedient. And he just opens doors and convince us to, to do things in our own way. But he had plans and traps and frustration and depression and sadness on that side, on the other side. And so the Lord is saying unto us that um he wants us to let go of the reins he wants us to allow him to be lord excuse me y'all sorry he wants us to allow him to be lord and to uh just surrender that's basically what i'm getting surrender and trust that he will lead us trust that he will work it out trust that he will show us exactly what we need when we need and how to get there so lord i thank you this morning in the name of jesus that we are going to let go of the reins so that you can lead us and be in charge of our lives as you're supposed to be in the name of jesus so the prayer says Show me now where you want to take my hands off of the reins and I will do it. Say it, say it, say, I will do it, Father. Help me to see where I'm getting in your way and I will get out of your way. Teach me your ways and show me your paths. I commit my heart to yielding to you. I commit my heart to yielding to you. Lord Jesus, help us. Help us, Lord God. Whatever wants us to be in control all the time, deliver us from that thing so that the Holy Spirit can lead us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us for just trying to be Lord of our lives and trying to be the leader of our lives, knowing that you purchased us with the precious gift of Jesus Christ's blood, Lord God, his entire life, Lord God. 
Forgive us, Lord, for trying to run things and teach us how to wait, God, with assurance that you will answer. You will answer no matter where we're at. You will answer, Father. So I thank you this morning. I praise you, Father, and I magnify you. I give you glory and honor and praise, God. In Jesus' name, amen. So I, I hope you're convicted as well. <laughs> uh, because the word says that God chases those whom he loves. So I hope that you're convicted. Um, if you hear, I, I, at least let me say this. I'm a strong believer that if I hear the word, it is for me. It is not for someone else. If I'm reading it, this is not just for you. It's for me as well as you. So let's give the Holy Spirit the reins so that he can lead us. So that he can be in charge. So that he can show us how to get to the places without all the extra trouble. Without being at war. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and share button. God bless you. I'll see you all in another video.